Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, where it is the weekend reading already, and I can't believe it's the weekend reading already. I'm like, what happened? What happened to all of the days? All of the days seem to just go pew, like that. I don't know why. Let me know if you feel the same. Remember we were talking the other day about time really sort of trudging and then not even being chronological, and then now pew, I wonder if it is Saturn being retrograde and Kronos and all that kind of stuff. Anyhow, welcome. And last night I went and did the public speaking thing, but I didn't need to do it. I know I read all your comments, much, much appreciated. Really like bolstered me up. I was, I did a little hypnosis about it as well. And then I kind of just did that thing, you know, in something you really are quite scared of. You just get yourself in the room. I think that's my Capricorn moon. I'm like, get yourself in the room, deal with it later. So I did and like did my bit, went down, got myself in the room. And then the person I was sharing the stage with, I mean, this could just be the universe looking after me. I don't know. Um, everybody overran on their talks. And so the person that I was sharing the stage with, um, who was late as well, I knew that was going to happen. She got much less time and also the slides that she sent weren't there and didn't work. So she was only on there for about two or three minutes and then that was it. So I didn't get called up to do my bit. I know, I kind of almost had got myself to the stage. I was acclimatized. I was chit chatting with this lovely woman that I just met, really great. Somebody, I don't know, you know when you just meet someone they're completely on your wavelength, amazing, great. Um, so done all that, I was feeling quite comfortable, would have done it, would have done it, but the universe was like, now I know that you can Gemma, you don't have to, so I didn't, there you go, that's my big story, that's what happened, or rather what didn't happen, I know, here's what didn't happen to me, okay, so we're coming up to the weekend here in the UK, it's drizzling, or there is a lot of mizzle around if you are in Cornwall, as Henry is. Shout out to St Ives, Henry. I miss it every moment that I am not there. Um, the wall, the walls, the roofs are all looking, you know that greasy look they get when you've got drizzly rain? Yeah. Okay. What do we need to know for the weekend? I need to know what you're doing for the weekend. I have finished American Sweethearts, the documentary. Amazing. And who told? Who didn't tell me Dolly Parton was in it? Big Dolly Parton fan here. Oh, yes. Dolly Parton singing nine to five in it. Oh, my God. It was like my Roman Empire. Boys on holiday at the moment, by the way, somewhere hot. Ooh. That was a ute. You know, one of those like Toyota trucks that has no back on it. People always have a Yorkshire Terrier on the seat. Nice. Okay. wrong camera page of pentacles we kick off with the page of pentacles hello my name is the page of pentacles and i've come to meet you today and i've brought my pentacle with me because i said i would bring my pentacle so i brought my pentacle let me tell you all about my pentacle it's actually an ancient there you go page of pentacles vibe <laughs> those people those people but he's so reliable he always brings the coin okay page of pentacles is telling you that something about what's going on or the energy is just a bit sensible okay it's a sensible energy i don't know about you and i don't know that much about it so anyone who does let me know but this whole saturn retrograde malarkey seems to be really affecting me and i don't know if it's because saturn is in pisces at the moment and has been for too long um so i don't know let me know if you know okay 
seven of wands. I like this. This is a card where you walk softly, you carry a big stick and you stick up for yourself. You say what you mean, you mean what you say. It also means that you may be triggered, I believe the young people say. You may be, someone might just poke at you a bit and you need to sort of put it to bed. That sounds a bit awful, doesn't it? It's a bit Benny Hill again. Um, what I mean is somebody might rile you a bit and you need to put them in their place and say what you feel, okay? Especially for those of you that are empaths, this is very difficult. I get the six of cups. So this could be something cropping up, could be nothing, just a tiny little text or a little bit of conversation you have with somebody, maybe even family, where something that's riled you in the past riles you again, or it's your little weak spot. It's something that you, that you used to get annoyed about and then you still do get annoyed about it, okay? It's nothing big. It could be really like small, but sometimes those little small things, they push you over the edge a little bit. We also have next to the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, which is a card about getting away from trouble and strife and the choppy waters that are like this and going onto the smoother waters. Somebody may help you with this. So if somebody annoys you or they're starting to kind of yank your chain, you may find that a good gossip with a friend not, you know, really horrible or anything, but just unloading with somebody else or just laughing about it with somebody else will just take the sting out of the situation, okay? Like an emotional antihistamine. Oh, someone's coughing in the street. Slim pickings at the moment, people. There's literally just no one ever around. I can't see them, but I can hear them. That's it. That's all we've got. Cough in the street. Then we've got the King of Wands. I like this energy. This again is the energy of being bombastic and almost behaving like you don't care. Now, for you empaths, that's going to be probably the biggest challenge of your life, behaving that you, like you don't care because you really do care. But fake it till you make it if you have to. Just have that kind of almost selfish energy, actually, that... This may be somebody just picking on you about something you like or the way that you do something, you know, and you're an individual, stand by yourself. Stand by yourself. And then finally, here we get the two of wands. It's about seeing the bigger picture, looking outside yourself. I am going to pick a literary witch's oracle card again. I loved this the other day. Okay, Literary Witches Oracle card. Love the colour as well of that book. What colour is that? Is it like, I suppose it's peach, but it's nicer than peach. Peach reminds me of like bad rag rolled wallpaper. By the way, is anybody else watching Outrageous Homes with Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen at the moment? Perfect. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. We get the hedgehog. We get the apple. Apples have been coming up for me everywhere. I don't know why. So, apple is temptation in my book. The hedgehog is reminding me of an audacious hedgehog that broke into my house. Um, a few years ago, I think I did a little YouTube, but I don't know if I got it on video or not. I don't know if it was just before I started the channel. It was a hedgehog that used the cat flap. <laughs> it used the cat flap. I kept thinking to myself, how is this hedgehog getting into my kitchen? And trying to eat, I think it tried to eat a bit of pizza crust or something like that. I'm an untidy person, what can I say? Um, and I think one time I saw it lower it. Did it like a human? It just kind of lowered itself like you would off a sort of ledge because the, the cat flap was a bit high off the ground and then plopped on. 
Um, the cats were really scared of it actually. So it was audacious and I feel like we may need to call on our own audacity and also the apple temptation. Be tempted. You're human. It's what we do with apples. We get Virginia Woolf. Wonderful. Is that her dog or is that a fox? Okay, I've got her diaries downstairs on the kitchen table and I never started reading it yet, which I must do. I'm a very slow reader when I'm reading to myself, so books take me ages. Okay, last one in the book, vision. Developing a vision, innovation and limitations. Virginia Woolf helped usher in a major new literary movement with her stream of consciousness fiction which fo focuses intently on the experience of awareness and moves fluidly among the inner lives of its characters. Her personal life and incisive feminist essays were no less radical. Yeah, after a lifelong struggle with mental illness, she put stones in her pockets and stepped into the river near her Sussex home. Always makes me feel really sad. I mean... <sighs> yeah, it's no age, is it really? But I feel like she pushed the boundaries and I feel like that is the message. Pushing the boundaries, being an individual and sticking to your guns with something. Leave me a comment, let me know what you're up to this weekend and I'll see you soon. Namaste.